Now guys, let's go back and revisit the preference. Okay, I'm nagging it about you, but it's very important. Actually, it depends on how you want to work. And I want to give you the ability to work the way you want. Not only what I'm saying, but also expand beyond what I have explained and ask me all the questions you want. I really, from all my heart, I want you to become a top motion graphics and visual effects artist. Now, we have here the default spatial interpolation to linear. Remember what used to happen. If we take, for example, a square or a rectangle, whatever, and then we use the position, we keyframe over here, and then we go down in the timeline, and then we do it just like this. So we have a motion path. Now you know all about it. But then it is linear, meaning the spatial interpolation is linear. Now let's go back and remove the preference. I will come to Edit, Preference, General, and I will just check it off okay now let's draw another rectangle okay just over here now we take the position keyframe the position here go a few seconds or whatever you like and just move it this side now notice what happened this is the previous one with spatial interpolation set to linear and this one the spatial interpolation has been checked off and it's not linear the previous one is linear and you don't have the Bezier path. So you now you can immediately start working in Bezier and designing your path if you want to do so. I will undo that. Why was I telling you always, you know, check it? Because if you try to create now a new movement, look what's going to happen. Okay. The motion here is linear and you don't have a Bezier. Here it has created this curve which most of the time you don't want. And sometimes it might create a worse curve. Here you are. You notice? So I didn't want this curve to appear because as a beginner or as soon as you start the course, it's a bit confusing. Now you have the Bezier over here and the handle, you can just play with it. So now guys, it's your choice. If you check the preference, you will always have linear. And of course, you know very well, you can come back over here, select all the keyframes and right click and go keyframe interpolation and set them the way you would like for example continuous bezier okay and click okay so now they are both continuous bezier if you notice or you can start working with continuous bezier by unchecking the option and you are always in a continuous bezier and uh, you always have the handles and when you get these curves you will have to fix them if you want this to be straight then you'd select the keyframe right click keyframe interpolation and for the spatial here, you can put it to linear and click OK. Here you are. I do work on After Effects every day. I prefer it set to linear and then I manipulate the keyframe the way I like. But you can do differently and explore your own skills. Thank you very much for listening. I'll see you in the next lecture.